Hello everyone, I am so happy to be back with a layout. Today's layout is an Instagram photo of my daughter and I'll use the comments made as the journaling. So let's get started. The first thing I did for this layout, besides covering up all the personal information in the comments on the Instagram uh, for my layout, I chose my background paper. The pink border is 22 Pink by Basil. It's my favorite pink. And the flower paper is from Authentic You. I hope I'm saying that right. It's the Cuddle, Cuddle Girl collection. And all my other scrapbook paper that I'm using is from Creative Memories, and it must be 8 to 10 years old, along with the stickers and title letters. And so um, I'm trying to use up everything in my stash. I like this paper, though. I haven't looked at it in years, so um, I'm getting to use it. Yay! Anyway, for this 10-minute uh, layout, I first laid everything on my desk that I would be using for this layout and removed from my desk anything that I absolutely knew wasn't going to go in this layout. And for me, that really helps me get to finish a layout in a short period of time. But the whole idea of my doing this isn't so much that I need to absolutely beat that 10 minute clock, though I like to and I'm really happy when I do. It's more for me an exercise in making a decision, creating a layout in my head, and kind of sticking to it. Um, and it doesn't always happen because once you start scrapbooking, it often takes you in a whole different direction that you first thought. And that's been happening a lot lately. So you haven't seen too many 10 minute layouts, but I'm trying to focus more and just um, get shorter layouts done so I can scrapbook the photos from the past that I really want to scrapbook and um, not spend an hour on it or so. Not that that's bad, that's not bad at all, but you know, life's busy and I can't always do that. So why do we scrapbook the photos that we choose to scrapbook? Every photo has a story. Somebody said that, I don't know who. And I think it's true, but whether or not we wanna scrapbook that story or not is another story. So when I saw this Instagram post and what my daughter wrote with the picture, it cracked me up. I started laughing and I've been wanting to create a college notebook for her. And she was 19 when she posted this in college and the post read, I hit my prime in 99. And in 1999, she was two years old. Um, you'll probably see me scrapbook this uh, photo again in a different layout, but this one's going in her college notebook because I just thought it was hysterical and it has uh, comments made by her friends, college friends and others. So I thought it would be nice and it made me laugh. And years from now when she sees it, I'm sure she's going to get a big kick out of it, especially when she's my age. Anyway, those enamel dots I am using, they are from Simple Stories. The camera is Chamel. And amazingly, I did beat the 10 minute marker, which I'm surprised about. Um, I did go back in and wrote uh, years old behind the number two for two years old. So add another 10 seconds or so to it, but I am done. I'm really happy with it. And for me, I really like that I didn't make every photo on here straight. I never tilt my photos or slant them. Everything's normally, well, I shouldn't say never, but it is exceedingly rare. I cannot remember the last time I may have made something crooked. Uh, but I did that with this layout and I'm happy I did. Thank you so much for joining me. Do like, subscribe to me, and share. It's very easy to do. And have a wonderful day. Happy scrapbooking, and I will see you next time.